Hello, beautiful, talented souls. This is uh, Luna. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy 2020. Uh, Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, we're going to do a reading that combines the Western and the Eastern astrology horoscopes. Um, They're very different because uh, the Eastern one is based on the year that you were born and the other is on the month that you were born. But today, we have Aries and Dragon. Aries and dragons. So Aries and dragons, I hope this resonates. If you are an Aries and a dragon, then, I mean, this is totally your reading. If you are only an Aries and not a dragon, maybe this resonates uh, more than the uh, than your animal. So feel free to take what resonates uh, and uh, check on the other videos as well. Uh, if the combination is not the right combination. This combination is based on characteristics of the signs and similarities. And, uh, well, we know Aries is fire, dragons are all fire. So I'm guessing that this will be a very exciting year for uh, for you, Aries, and dragons. <laughs> and I uh, hope you find it interesting. Please, um, you know, comment, give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, I have five different decks. I'm going to move this because these will be clarifications, okay? And we're going to divide the year in four different quarters. Uh, so the first quarter, like we do in companies, no? So we are uh, always, um, you know, work for the, with targets for three months, three months, three months, three months. So I'm going to divide the, the year in three quarters, use some tarot cards and then clarify with other cards as well in terms of finance, in terms of career, obviously, and in terms of life purpose, which are the main themes that, uh, you know, that I'm focused on. And uh, and yeah, and if you are new to my channel, we're going to start shuffling. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I'm always looking for uh, lovers. I love you. <laughs> uh, subscribe, uh, give a thumb up if you like it. Um, if you don't like it, don't do anything. <laughs> you know, we don't like to see not liking. I mean, just leave it eh? it's uh but no feel free feel free to give me some comments send me an email and that would be better and uh, yes i'm hoping to you know to work across all these topics my career is like 20 years in recruitment and human resources and uh, of course tarot is my passion I'm doing my passion right now. I believe, you know, we all have to do what makes us happy. I continue my career as well, but I combine both because uh, what the best that combine, you know, the 3D with the 5D, meaning spiritual with uh, practical. I'm a Capricorn. I'm all about practicing and, um, you know, making things happen. And um, and uh, yes, but I'm very spiritual as well. So this is me. Anyway. Uh, so, first three months of the year, and I don't read reversal, reversals, sorry, it's too complicated. Second quarter, third quarter, and the final quarter, okay? I love these cards, they're such a good vibe, okay? Okay, let's see. So, the first quarter, what should you should expect? This is January, February, and uh, March. Ooh, Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Swords, oh my goodness me, you are starting so strong, so strong, okay? I mean, I get the vibe that you're a female, although you can be anything or having a strong female energy within you. Oh, sorry, I cannot pick it up. It's a sticky. Okay, so two queens, what else you want? An all gold, you know, the gold, uh, the amarite and the yellow calcite. I'm naturally creative and protect what matters to me. So the first three months of the year you are in you are a queen you are in the queen energy meaning you are so creative you're putting all the effort on the right things the things that give you a lot of joy the things that uh, come from your um you know your third chakra which is the chakra of power personal power which is the third chakra is the yellow one you have such a strong personal power um you are taking care of your uh, ambitions uh, 100% and you cut the things that don't align with your desires, okay? So you're very clear in your mind, you're very clear about what you want and you go for it totally, totally, totally uh, in power. I'm getting that you work in a company 
I'm getting that you work with others. I'm getting that you work in a very competitive environment where especially females are quite competitive and quite uh, ambitious. You are surrounded a lot by women, I'm getting. And um, it requires you to be very intelligent, but also it requires you to really portray your power. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting some of you work in finance. I'm getting some of you um, uh, work in marketing, in sales, uh, or finance. I'm getting that you deal with things that generate revenue, generate good money. That's what I'm getting. Okay? Beautiful. I mean, just be yourself. That's the advice for the first quarter. Okay, second quarter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, and here comes the guy. Okay, so, oh my God. Woman, because I'm getting the energy that you are such a powerful being. <laughs> okay, so you are a dragon and you are Aries. I mean, the ener I mean, you are stepping in your area. I mean, the queen of one is also Aries. The queen of source is, uh, you know, any um, air sign. Maybe you have a combination, Okay. In terms of dragon, well, fire. Okay, the second quarter, you become the empress, meaning in career terms, okay, that you are manifesting all that the queen was fighting for or was, let's say, creating. In the the next three, in the second quarter, which is uh, April, April, uh, sorry, uh, yes, April, May, and June, you are manifesting everything that you wanted and fight for, okay? So it's a time to relax, a time to sit there, you give birth to new things. New things happen to you. Sorry about the movement. Oh, it's my head. New things happen for you in the second quarter, guarantee, guarantee. Because the queen become the empress, come on. You're in a progression in your career. You are getting a new job, a new uh, a promotion, could be a promotion, a higher level of responsibility, um, uh, an idea that proved to be very successful in your job. Anything that you are fighting for, you get it, and it manifests 100%. And the Knight of Swords is because you still need to, uh, maybe this is someone that is, is going to help you and protect you. I'm getting that you work with someone that will protect you, you know, that's one thing. And the other thing is that, I don't know why, but you are in a working environment that is so competitive that you will need to protect uh, your idea, 100%. You need to protect what you have, what you have achieved. But you have the material to do that. You have the energy, you have the inner power, you have everything. And then you have someone that also wants to help. Okay? So on the second um, the second uh, quarter, you achieve your goals, the recognition, the idea that makes more money, the, um, you give birth to, uh, you start managing people maybe, higher position, anything that you wanted, you achieve it. And there is someone that can help. And also you are still in the protecting move as well. So this could be you, could be another person. But the idea that I'm getting is that um, uh, this person is looking at the, at the Empress. I'm getting that someone in your team is really taking care of your assets. Okay, I'm getting someone younger, someone that works for you. That's what I'm getting. Okay, fantastic. Congratulations. You have done really well. The other, um, the next quarter, which is uh, August, nice, which is, um, uh, sorry, July, August, and September, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Okay, beautiful. My readings are all about uh, work, so I'm not going to focus on love because, I mean, there is love in work as well. <laughs> you know what I mean. But the idea is the Four of Pentacles, solid, 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 solid. This is a coin. This is a trust. I'm always safe and protected. You're very worried about people taking your money or taking your position or taking your uh, what you have achieved. The Four of Pentacles tell you that on the following quarters after you achieve your success, you will be on safe ground. You will be in a position that is safe, is, um, you know, you have to trust. No one is going to touch it. The four is very solid. 
Before is no movement. Before is you stand there, you sit there, and no one is going to touch you. Okay? And the two of cups means that you will share, from my point of view, you will share this um, success with other people. Okay? Especially with this person that is helping you, okay, which is, I guess, is younger. Oh, sorry, you cannot see that very well. I guess this person is a little bit younger. You will share the success with this person. You will drink both of you. You know, I imagine you going to a pub, having a beer and saying, hey, we make this happen. We secure the house. No one is going to bother us. We deal with the problems. Let's cheer up because we are a great team together. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> I see you celebrating. I mean, like, taking away these people that is just envy of you, okay? But don't worry, I mean, like, um, you understand them. You wanted the same at some point. You wanted to succeed. And you are wiser now. You understand where these people is coming from. What I'm telling you is that there is a good soul there that is going to help you. You will share the happiness and uh, you, will, you are in solid ground, okay? So no worries. And the final... Uh, the final uh, quarter, which is uh, October, November, December, you know, after, you know, you're all happy in your success, we have the Hanged Man, okay? And the star, oh my God, what a year, woman. Okay, sorry, woman or man with a high, heavy, heavy, heavy female energy. <laughs> okay, what, what a year. The Hanged Man for me is new opportunities in your case, okay? And also because it's followed by the star. For me, this is, I mean, I see you're so creative. Oh, sorry, I'm moving this because I'm getting excited about you. You're so creative, Aries and dragons. You Look, there's a kind of a dragonfly there. You're so creative. You have such a strong power. You're so, so solid that you know what? You push yourself. You hang yourself from the tree and you say, okay, what about if I do this in that way? What about if I do now this in that way? You are non-stop, okay? That's your personality. And I can see that you work in sales. I'm getting sales, sales, sales so heavily. I say finance, I say marketing, but heavy, heavy. You know where opportunities are, okay? You, you know where opportunities are. And you know that you need to, to change the perspective to find them. So you hang yourself from the tree. You're not scared at all. I mean, come on, this man is an acrobat, okay? And he has all the, all the let's say, the personal power. I mean, for me, yellow is personal power. Look at what she's getting inside here. It's so similar. The, the design is, very, is identical. Okay. So you know that the power comes from inside, no? From your passion. So to get the passion back, you have to change perspective. You hang yourself from the tree or from whatever. You just go for a trip you chill, you see the scene different, and then you know what happened. Not only you are the empress, but you are the star. <laughs> Come on, woman. You are amazing. Amazing year for you. What a, I, I'm, I'm, I feel your power, your inner power, okay? So what happened is you are, you, I'm inspired and positive about the future. You achieve new dimensions. It's like, you are in this dimension, you, you you give birth to something, you create something, okay? Fantastic. And you know what? Then you say, okay, I need to get something else. And then you reach to the stars. Amazing, amazing. And literally, you can also be an, a star. You can also dream inside to be more public, meaning, let's say, giving some conference, some event. Maybe that is the hidden desire that you have, no? Or to teach others, to give conference, to give... I mean, to you. I mean, maybe you decide to be in front of everyone, uh, and share, you know, how to crack on sales, how to crack the finance, uh, uh, you know, finance in a way of um, uh, planning and analysis. I don't see you on the size of finance that is uh, accountant. I see you like making business decision. Okay. So, and you want to be in front of everyone, share your life, share your with your um, your understanding, and be in front of uh, two hundred people and sell in front of the, home, the whole company, this is how I make it happen. And this is me. I'm the star of the show. You end the year amazingly, okay? You end the year sharing your skills, sharing how good you are, 
sharing to the to everyone in the company that you're an star, unstoppable. Okay, this is the goddess, the goddess cards. So, what is the light you need to share to the world? I mean, there is so much light here. But what is the light that you will share to the world in 2020? Who is the goddess that is inside you that have the light that you will share in 2020? Transformation. And I got two. Okay, well, I will need to read this. Transformation and flow. Yes. Yes. Total transformation. Total transformation for you. It's like you come into an, an flow because you, you, you know the flow. You know the flow. You know how to go from a queen to an empress to a star. You know the flow between queen, empress, and star. And this is the light that you will share at the end of the year to everyone that listens to you. Okay? That's the light that you, you will share. And you will transform. You will you understand you understand how to make this transformation and how it flows. And that's the light that you will share with everyone this year. Okay? This is a car. Beautiful. This is a car about your life purpose. Okay? What do you need to know this year about your life purpose? What do you need to know about your life purpose? I mean, your life purpose is clearly to be an star. Okay, I mean you are a master of your of your craft. I can tell you that you're very happy with what you do. There's no other job for you. I mean you love what you do. Fantastic news. Is there anything else that Aries and Dragons need to know about the life purpose? Ah, speaker. Of course. You are willing what I'm saying to speak in front of the crowd. Look at this. Oration, you, I mean, this is the next stage for you. You will achieve transformation because you will understand the flow. But guess what? Your inner dream is being this star, being this person that share what you have learned, share with others, okay? I totally imagine you, you know, here achieving management, responsibilities, new job, new ideas, new way of doing things even, no? It could be both things, no? And um, but your inner your life purpose is speaking, is sharing your your understanding, share the the wisdom that you have about how to be successful, how to sell more, how to convince people to buy this product, how to do these things. And there you are, you will become the speaker that you want to be. Okay, you will become the speaker. And this is one card about the person, because we have millions of people helping. We know that this person is going to help you, okay? There is a younger one that reports to you, maybe your assistant even, okay? We know that that person is going to help you. What else, who else, sorry, is critical in your path this year? Who else? We have this one, divine healing. Is your yoga teacher. <laughs> The person that you need to pay attention to that is important for you to achieve all of this is the person that, uh, you know, help you, I mean, give you a massage. I mean, I'm sorry, this is kind of what I'm getting. It's your yoga teacher, your uh, your trainer, the person that is um, uh, giving you an exercise routine. I don't know, because you are so highly productive that I'm getting, I'm getting the vibe that obviously you go to the gym very often, you exercise, you take care of your health. So whoever is helping you to take care of your health, that's the person that you need to pay attention this year because it's the one that will help you to balance everything to get here, okay? So retreat, recharge, and heal. Your light can support others. Exactly. You have the light. You have the light. You have the light. You have the light. You are the speaker. The, sorry about the dog. The important thing is that you recharge, okay? Remember, yoga teacher, exercise, I don't know, uh, the trip. Okay, things things differently. Mm -hmm. That's important for you. Pay attention. Okay. And then the last card is about the finance. You know, for not the finance, you know, matters because I mean you're going to be very successful. If for me money is energy, 
and flow. Okay? You do what you love, it flows, it comes, it comes, it comes. Okay? But one card for finance for 2020, because everyone likes to know, you know, it's like a typical question and finance for Aries and Dragon in 2020. A two of emotions. Oh my God. The two of emotion is the two of cup. So what is telling me the pay attention to that relationship, okay? It's very important, okay? The finance will be there, okay? You ha you're solid, you're solid, solid, and you're working towards, the, you have the star, the empress, the queens, the queens, the queens. I mean, you have money everywhere. I'm mean, not worried about the money. But the main thing that is really important for you, okay, will be uh, to take to pay attention to this person that is going to help you, okay? Because uh, you share, you share a lot of things in common, okay? You share share with that person your success, okay? Recognize what they have done. Recognize the help, because there is something important in that flow, like uh, I give and I get. You know, like the flow is everything. You get what you give, or you receive what you give. This is telling you twice, it's not constant, two times two of cups, that you have to give to this person the recognition because it will help you to get more rewards, okay? And with that information, I hope this help. You have a fantastic year, okay? Oh, sorry, I keep knocking, but <laughs> it's the energy. You're so, so high energy. Okay, all the best, dragons, all the best, Aries. Hope the help. Give me a thumb up if you like it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.